What's up, you guys? All right, today we're going to be doing part two of the Best Deceptions by Dashboard Confessional. All right, um, in this video, I'm going to be teaching the chorus and the outro. Okay, so if you haven't seen part one, check out my channel for that so you can learn the intro and the verse. Okay, so the chorus is very, very simple. Okay, um, it does consist of two basic shapes um, and it has a harmonic in there as well. Okay, so to begin with, you're just going to strum open, all right, for D, so. All right, that's the kind of strumming pattern you're looking for. Listen to the song, play along with it in your own kind of way, um, in a way that suits you best, um, and you will find out, you know, roughly how the song goes. All right, guys. Um, so you're going to play it open. All right. Then for half the measure, you're going to do one shape, and then the other half, you're going to do the other. So it's like... Alright, so first shape, you're going to get your second, third, and your fourth finger, and you're going to place them on the seventh fret, alright, on your fifth, fourth, and your third string. Okay, it's kind of like an A shape when you're playing the standard tuning, alright, and it's just up here on the seventh fret there, guys, alright. So you're going to play that... And then all you're going to do is slide from the 7th fret down to the 5th fret for the 2nd measure, alright? Just like that. Alright, so in slow time. Back to open. Alright, so that is the first part there, okay? He plays that through 4 times. And then he does a harmonic. Okay, now to play a harmonic, right, all you need to do is on the 12th fret, okay, on the uh, fret metal closest to the body, I want you to just do this with your first finger or your second finger, I find it easier on my second, just hover it on this, just touching the string on your sixth string, right? You should get that kind of harmonic sound. Okay, you can take your finger off the guitar and I'll still play the note. Okay, then practice that on every string. Alright, and once you've got that, you know the harmonics there on each string, you're just going to rest your entire finger over it. And that's your harmonic note there. Alright, so he strums that once, then back to it. Alright, so four times through normally, then he plays the harmonic note, and then to the uh, chord on the seventh, chord on the fifth, and then goes back to playing the original again um, for five times. Okay, so that progression plays through ten times in total in the chorus. In the chorus. All right. So what we'll do is we'll play through it together. Okay, so four times normal, then that harmonic, and then uh, five times after that, guys. All right. So we'll do it together on three now. One, two, three, and seven to five. Seven. Seven, five, to open. To seven, to five, harmonic. Three, four, seven, to five. And back to normal. And then he plays the intro riff through twice, okay, back to the... Alright, that gets played through twice. Alright, and then he goes into the verse. Um, and the verse is exactly the same as the first verse, alright guys. Um, and then you go into your chorus again. Okay, but the second time that the chorus is played, he plays that harmonic twice on the first beat and the third beat. Okay, so it's in four beats, so it's like... So... Alright guys, so the harmonics played twice in the second chorus, and then you have the outro, okay, and the outro will sound a little like this.
Alrighty, so the first shape you're going to need for your outro, okay, is your second and your third finger is going to go on your third and fourth strings on the twelfth fret. Just like that, guys. Okay, and that gets played eight times. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then all you're going to do is place your first finger, okay, on the eleventh fret of your fourth string. Eight times. Okay, keeping that third finger on the twelfth there, alright guys? So it's that shape. Alright, so you've gone from this, just to that. Eight times through. Okay, and then the next shape, you're going to place your first finger on the eighth fret of your third string. And your second finger is going to go on the ninth fret of your fourth string. Just like that. Alright, that gets played eight times. Seven, eight. And then, this part here, okay, you play this four times, and then on the third time, all right, that you're playing, and the fourth, okay, you add your third finger or your fourth finger, whichever one's easiest for you, onto the, um, onto the eighth fret, okay, on your third string. Okay, so you're just barring the fifth, all right, and what I mean by barring is pressing down every single string on that fret, okay, up to your fourth, okay, just like this. And then, as I say, the third and fourth time, all you're going to do is add that third or fourth finger onto the ninth, onto the eighth fret on the third string. Just there, guys. Okay? Like this. Alright. And then, all you're going to do is take that bar from your fifth fret and slide it up to the seventh and just play that four times. Okay, so together. Okay, and that plays through four times. Okay, and then you just end on that note there with both your fingers on the 12th. So we'll do that together, guys. Okay, so 12 and 12, eight times. Five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, five. Okay guys, and what I've noticed that the artist does during this little section of the song, he tends to kind of rest his fingers on the note and then press it down and then rest his fingers on the strings again. So you're getting this kind of... Alright, that kind of jumpy sound where it's cutting the note on and off. Okay, um, but that is entirely up to yourselves, guys, whether you want to play it that way or not. I just noticed that the artist does that a few times when I'm listening to the song, okay? And that is the chorus and the outro. It is that simple, okay? It is a very simple song. I think the only complex thing about it is the tuning, all right? But once you've got the tuning down, you're laughing. All right, guys, um, I forgot to mention this in my first video. If you are really struggling with the tuning, um, I can put up a separate video just explaining how to get into that tuning um, from standard and just going through it again so that you guys are ready to play this song. Okay, anyway, that is it guys. I do hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and hopefully you will now be able to play this fantastic song and it's maybe opened you up to a new chord um, progression, it's maybe opened you up to a new set of... Um, you know, a new style of playing or even a new tuning altogether, all right? For me, the biggest mistake I always made was I never, you know, tried new tuning, so make sure you try to check this out, all right? Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video, all right? Um, I'm going to be putting up a video shortly, uh, a little channel update, so make sure you stick around for that as well, guys. All right, you guys take care, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.